there is no resurrection. It is opposite from the first Thessalonians and second Thessalonians. They were waiting for Jesus to come. But they mismarked the date, right? Jesus is coming tomorrow. So we don't have to work. Come to church. We're going to have a party. Let's have a feast. Because Jesus is coming tomorrow, why? Right? It's no use of work. We don't need anything. <coughs> we came to this world as a naked. We live as a naked. We cannot even bring money or even iPhone with us. So why not? That's a misconception, skeptical idea is spread out in this region. Same thing, Corinth, they just didn't believe it. So that's why Paul quote a poet here, go down to verse 33. Bad company corrupts good character. It's a, one of the poets in Athens. I forgot the name of the author. But out of that poet, it says that. Bad company corrupts what? Good character. So don't hang around the bad crowd. Unless you have power to influence them, don't come near to them. Ever. You're going to be influenced by them. So if you think it's a bad crowd, cut it off. Stay away from me. <laughs> you have to let them know, hey, stay away from me. Don't bring your sin to me. That kind of boldness. But in case he or she is a close friend, you need to rebuke them. By the word of God. Hey, when I read the Bible, you are not doing the right things. You are not giving glory to God, whatever you do. Just stop doing that. Stop saying it. I don't want to hear it. Those are rubbish. It's going to corrupt myself. See, we have to draw a line and cut it. But unfortunately, in this church, they have no power. They had no power to... Refuse this skeptical idea. See how many people saw already witnessed that Jesus ascended to heaven. It's only about 100 years later through their parents or grandparents. They've heard what had happened to Jesus Christ. But they ignored so that's the majority in this city. So can we imagine that? What was going on in the city of Corinth? Stay away from sexual sins. Why? Body? It's useless. Only body we need is while we're here on earth. So when we die, who cares about our body? It goes on to the ground. It's going to be spoiled, perished. So might as well we use our bodies. Enjoy your body. That kind of influence in this city. So Paul urged people, hey, we are all witness. If you're a believer, why do you believe Jesus Christ? If there is no resurrection, nothing. That's what is said here. See, go down to verse 14. If Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless, and your faith is useless. And we apostles would all be lying about God. For we have said that God raised Christ from the grave. But that can be true if there is no resurrection of the dead. If, and if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, 
then your faith is useless and you are still guilty of your sins. Isn't that true? In their case, all who have died believing in Christ are lost. So, first of all, if there is no resurrection of the dead, no belief. Unbelief. See, I want you to have a heart's desire to know what is the meaning of the resurrection. So as a human being, we cannot grab that concept. See, when you read the book of Gospels, especially the John, book of John, first woman, who went to the tomb, Jesus' tomb, after his death? Magdalene, right? But she couldn't believe it. She was actually speaking to Jesus. But she couldn't recognize Him. Why? Yeah, as a human being, we, once we die, that's it. We cannot grab the concept. So think about that. You really have the conviction in your heart that Jesus has resurrected? Jesus has risen from the dead? We need to pray about that. See, we understand why people didn't believe the resurrection. They cannot even explain because in our human wisdom, we cannot perceive or accept the knowledge. When we die, we're going to rise again from the dead? We can. So as we read this book, oh, these guys are bad. How come they come to church and they know all the doctrines and the Word of God? How come they didn't believe? No, no, what about me and you? Do we really accept the concept of the resurrection? Only through the help of the Holy Spirit. We know and we understand and we can grab and we can imagine. Jesus has risen from the dead. Without the power of the Holy Spirit, never. We are not capable of understanding and accepting the fact Jesus has risen from the dead. There is no way. Don't judge people in this city. What about us, even today's life? How many churches in this, even this area? If they really truly believe there is resurrection of the dead, they change. They truly change. And they truly submit their will to God and follow according to what God says in the Bible. So especially this chapter is talk about resurrection. It's very important doctrine as well as it's important to us, to Christians. There is, if there is no resurrection meaning there is no belief there is nothing to hold on, nothing to believe. Because Jesus is not going to come back to take us back into heaven. And secondly, if there is no resurrection, there is a doubt. 